Wright Brothers National Memorial commemorates the site of the first successful human attempt at controlled flight. This flight was famously carried out on December 17, 1903, by Orville and Wilbur Wright, more commonly known as the Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers were born in Dayton, Ohio, Wilbur in 1867 and Orville in 1871. They both attended but did not graduate from high school. In their late teens and early 20s, they operated a printing business where they produced their own newspapers and additional commercial work. They soon decided to use the mechanical knowledge they had gained building and operating printing presses to enter the industry of bicycle repair and eventually bicycle design. The bicycle craze of the late 1800s garnered them considerable success and they focused their earnings into the area of experimental flight. Building on ideas of others in the field of flight, such as Samuel Langley and Otto Lilienthal, the brothers set to work. They began with constructing gliders and experimenting with materials and shape. Although they were not the first to build experimental aircraft, the Wright brothers were the first to invent three-axis aircraft controls that made fixed-wing flight possible. In 1900, the brothers consulted with the U.S. Weather Bureau to identify a location that would meet their desired criteria. A wide open space, steady winds, isolation, elevation change, and soft sand for landing. They chose the Outer Banks of North Carolina due to the presence of several large sand dunes known in the area as Kill Devil Hills. After arriving at Kill Devil Hills, they endured weeks of delays caused by broken propeller shafts. After the shafts were replaced, requiring two trips back to Dayton, Wilbur won a coin toss and made a three-second flight attempt on December 14, 1903, stalling after takeoff and causing minor damage to the flyer. Following repairs, the Wrights finally took to the air on December 17th into a freezing headwind gusting to 27 miles per hour. The first flight by Orville at 10.35 a.m. traveled 120 feet in 12 seconds at a speed of only 6.8 miles an hour and was recorded in a famous photograph. The next several flights traveled even further and maintained an elevation of 10 feet above the ground. After the men hauled the flyer back from its fourth flight, a powerful gust of wind flipped it over several times, despite the crew's attempt to hold it down. Severely damaged, the plane never flew again. The brothers shipped it home, and years later, Orville restored it, lending it to several U.S. locations for display, then to a British museum, before it was finally installed in 1948 in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., its current residence. Many of their early experiments ended in failure, yet each defeat brought them one step closer to their goal of achieving powered flight. There's little doubt that what the brothers achieved on the windswept dunes of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina changed our world forever. Wright Brothers National Memorial, established in 1927, celebrates their success at Kitty Hawk, providing a place for visitors to reflect on and be inspired by the dream of flight. But ironically, it also helped to alter the relative isolation of the Outer Banks, isolation that the brothers required for their flight experiments.